Good evening, everyone. I want to just start reminding everyone uh, just how thankful I am for you. And I'm thankful for what God is doing in our campaign. Uh, man cannot do what God has called you and I to do. And most of you come from a, a, a Christian background. And so I want to make a parallel for you uh, with just the group that we have on right now. In any time you've had a revival in your church, usually maybe it's a five night or in the it, it just, in the not so distant past, we would have two week revivals, not even just one week. It'd be two weeks. And, uh, and then in the 50s and 60s, they would be month long revivals. And then in the times when there were uh, the Great Reformation and others, it was months. Uh, and so uh, I'm not asking people to commit. I'm not asking each of you and then all of your uh, networks and the people that you know to commit to, uh, to months of this. What I'm asking each of you and what I'm asking uh, all those who, want to, who are a part of our campaign, what I'm asking for is 10 nights. You don't have to leave your house in treacherous weather or in uh, you know rainy conditions or cold weather. The great thing about Zoom is wherever you are, you can still connect. You can be on mm -hmm. mute. You can take not to be on video if you prefer, but you can have your earbuds in. You could be in a noisy environment, but you're still able to be a part of what God is doing with this group and with our campaign. Uh, you know what's the most exciting thing to me about this is you can't do this and I can't do this. But the strategy that God has given us, he can do. And if he does that through us, it will absolutely rattle the political powers. And you know that we battle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers uh, and spiritual wickedness in high places. I'm telling you, uh, if the immigrant community of Iowa can rise to this occasion, it will be historical no matter where this campaign goes, no matter where this goes, because it's not about me. This is a platform to lift every single immigrant voice in Iowa, no matter what country you're from. And the more that we've moved forward and walked in this divine strategy, the more clear it is to me that it's not even about our campaign. It is about lifting your voice, the voice that has been silenced, the voice that has had no influence in American politics whatsoever. But I believe it is your time. Look at how America is without your voice. I think we need it. I think it is past time uh, because what you and what we share are our values, our family values. We, we share common sense, uh, you know, whether it's economic or whether it's national security or whether it's uh, family uh, or integrity, ethics, you know, morality. These are the, and these are things that we share. Uh, but increasingly, it seems like people in politics don't share these values. And so it really unites us.